Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Pisces from the 18th to the 24th of March 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I put my details in the description box. So please go to my website to book a reading. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with the general energy read, and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. So you've been... Um, doing a lot of work that involves uh, using your creativity quite a bit. Uh, sudden I ideas have been coming to you, it seems. You've got um, this Uranus with um, Venus over here. So suddenly, you know, um, really fascinatingly interesting ideas coming to you. So you've been, um, you know, employing that creativity quite a bit recently. And you've been facing a lot of mental challenges as well. You've got M Mars here with uh, Mercury. So, you know, uh, facing a lot of mental problems and trying to overcome them. You might have been asking for some help and assistance uh, from people around you as well. And uh, you've also got uh, dealing with a lot of conflicts and demands. So you might be working according to deadlines, um, um, you know, trying to get things done. Might You might be rushing a little bit. This... Um, um, Saturn with, uh, is a very restrictive planet, and you've got um, Jupiter over here, which is a planet that wants to expand. So there may, might be things in your surroundings that are preventing you from making these, these moves or making these decisions or, or even expanding. Uh, somebody, it could be in the form of somebody or it could be in the form of a situation coming along that's preventing you from making any kind of um, big moves or big changes. So something being very restrictive around you. So in the past, you've had uh, ending of relationships. There was, there may have been a lot of uh, deception in uh, relationships, and this is now a brand new cycle that you've been beginning. And you know, you've moved on to a different um, mental stage. A little bit of depression coming along over here after ending this relationship. So going into the future, you've got uh, you know um, good news coming in here. Um, and, you know, you being able to, your spirits, it lifts your spirits. You can see this bird taking off over here. You've got uh, Venus here with Mercury. So Venus is usually a very benefic planet. So it brings about happiness as well, personal happiness. It might be used with regards to finances or, you know, your personal uh, belongings or um, personal expansion uh, that is going to be, um, you know, bringing you, uh, lifts your spirits and makes you feel happy. And uh, the final card over here is you being now able to take control of that situation. So you're getting that mental clarity coming in with Mars here with um, Mercury taking control of that uh, situation on a mental level. So you're overcoming difficulties and you're managing to move away from any kind of, um, any kind of mental uh, instabilities or any kind of um, mental challenges. So if people have been saying things to you that have been putting you down, you're managing to overcome it and you know, you're getting your personal power right back again. So those are the energies for that week. Okay, so this is the Green Witch Tarot and I've put it in the description box, so have a look. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Themis, which is about, um, it's usually the Seven of Swords. So you have been dealing with a situation where there was a lot of deception, lies, deceit, um, you know, you having to move away from a really uh, difficult situation. You've got this man moving away from this um, skunk, <laughs> and you know, they, they let out really bad smells here. So uh, you know, you're having to take your... Um, uh, your things or your ideas or move away from a person that has caused you a lot of problems and moving away more to a, a place of stability and safety. Uh, so although, uh, um, you know, whatever the situation that happened was rather temporary and caused a lot of problems, there's a big stink up if you like, uh, you know, and um, 
uh, there was a lot of deception and deceit. You are now back on your path again and you're moving away from that kind of difficult situation, having dealt with it. You are reviewing what happened in the past. You are looking at it and trying to decide why they did that. Um, but um, you are moving away from that situation right now into a more stable situation. So what's happening with you? You've got uh, the 15, which is nature, which is um, uh, the, um, the devil card, um, it's talking about being trapped in a situation, uh, you know, and there was somebody that was very overbearing with that. Uh, you can see there was no support from people around you and you'd been stuck in the situation um, and it was a very painful situation to be stuck in. Um, and um, you felt really um, unable to make any kind of move, really. Now you've got the page of wands coming in over here. So this is uh, starting of something brand new. So new power coming into your hand and being able to use that power in order to create your own future. Now you've got a donkey over here. So this is about, uh, you know, working very, very hard to do it. This could also be about, um, you know, um, even travel, moving away uh, from um, from the situation that you were in. So something brand new starting off for you and you getting your power right back in your hands again. This could also be some kind of communication that comes in for you that allows you to review the situation and get your control back of that power, of that situation again. So where you have been feeling very defeated or feeling very uh, disempowered, it looks like things are coming back in for you. In the past year, you've got the, um, the tower energy coming in. And this looks like something has come in that has completely upset the balance of your life, has caused a lot of disruption and a lot of drama. Uh, you know, it was an unexpected thing. It came in very quickly. It may have come in the form of, of news or it may have come in the form of some um, some kind of uh, revelation coming in for you uh, that stirred up a lot of problems, uh, allowed a lot of destruction to happen. You can see everything is being destroyed. It's almost like a tornado coming in. Um, and it, it seems to have um, brought, caused a lot of chaos in your life. So in the past three months, you've got the Nine of Cups over here. So this is uh, using your intuition to move forward. It's also relying on your own um, inner talents or inner gifts to get through that situation. So you've got a lot of options coming up for you here. And you're having to make some kind of decision, having put the past behind you. You can see the fire is sitting behind this woman. And she's using this crystal ball to decide what to do next. So it looks like you're going to have to trust your, your gut instincts to be able to make that decision to move forward. Or you've been doing that in the last few months. You've got the Knight of Wands over here. So this could be that you were dealing with a fire sign person in the form of an Aries, uh, Leo or Sagittarius. Or it could be you, you just deciding, to, um, you know, to move on. Maybe you were in a work situation that was not serving you or something happened in your work situation because the Knight of Wands is about wanting to move on or relocate to do, um, you know, this a job somewhere else or moving away from it. So you're finding a direction in your life. Um, you've got the, the uh, signpost of yours showing village. So it looks like you are finding a direction in your life and going towards it and steering your own um, horse right now. So you are moving forward. Um, having gone through quite a difficult situation. It's still a long journey, it's still a long road, and still a lot of obstacles to overcome. But all in all, it seems like, you know, the path, it seems to be quite clear. You have a clear idea in your mind, and you know what you want to do. You've been communicating a lot with people as well, uh, but you want abundance to come in. And you seem to be following this path on your own. So you're taking charge of your life again. So going into the future, you've got the Eight of Cups, and this is another card about moving away. So you have left behind things that are not serving you, things that were that you considered to be very stable, that would last forever. Uh, but these things did not belong to you. They were not of your making. So you have decided now to leave it all behind. You see the situation is very cloudy over here. The, cl the um, sun is even covered with clouds here. So it seems like whatever happened or whatever you were, um, situation you were in was not really for your best interest. And you have made up your mind or you will be making up your mind and moving on from that situation. So what's happening with you? You've got the Ace of Athemus, which is the Ace of Swords, which is taking control of the situation, cutting out things that are not serving you, having victory in that situation, standing alone, standing up for yourself and speaking and saying whatever you would, you need to say. You've got these sunflowers over here, or, um, or dandelions rather, um, it, it looks like, you know, you're bringing in, uh, enlightenment is coming to you and uh, you're putting out a lot of um, communication with the world. You can see all these uh, little dandelions fl uh, floating off. So you are communicating your ideas now and you're starting uh, to recover 
from any kind of problems that you have been going through. So what's going on around you? You've got the battle wagon over here, which is um, the chariot card, and this is taking control of the situation. This is how people see you now. They see you finally uh, in charge of your life again and moving forward. You could be moving house as well, um, relocating. You could even be buying a new car. So you're definitely moving on, um, and, and this is a card of achievement. It's a card of victory. So after going through a lot of problems, uh, you are finally starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel. So what's happening around you? You've got the King of Cups. This is your card. Uh, you know, you're trying to get that emotional stability, that emotional control. You're also looking for ad, uh, advice and support from somebody that is very, uh, you know, is looking after your interests. Um, this is you taking that control, getting that balance back, um, you know, finally coming out on top um, and, uh, you know, having learned a lot of lessons from what you've been through, getting that authority back. That's what's your hopes and your fears. So going into the future, the final outcome comes, you've got the um, Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. So it looks like there's a, a new beginning for you. It's uh, it's going to bring a lot of stabilities, awards. You can see these um, fields are full of sheep. So there's a lot of abundance coming in over here. This could be in the form of a new job that allows you to buy or maybe buy a new house, maybe relocate, uh, get that stability back again. It is something that's going to be long-term. And it's something that you're going to be very happy to receive. So it's a new job, new money, something new in the form of finances coming in to give you that stability and wealth. And then you've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is your independence. So this is gaining back your independence and being able to work independently of anybody else and being able to, um, you know, be the breadwinner, be the, the person who uh, takes control of that situation and has the finance to do it. Uh, so, you know, with this new job that is coming in, it's going to give you that financial stability, security, um, and, uh, you know, allow you to spend more time with your children or your family. Uh, but it also means that you're going to be working pretty hard at this particular job, but uh, a lot of independence coming in and a lot of recognition from everybody else. So you can see these people are pretty happy. And also the Nine of Pentacles is at the end of an old, difficult cycle when it comes to money. So um, as far as your financial difficulties go, this looks like it's going to be you're reaching the end of that phase that will um, be over and it looks like there's a uh, an offer coming in for you that opens the doors uh, for uh, wealth or um, for you to progress this also could be further study coming in so maybe an opportunity to learn something further or further uh, improve your skills but it definitely whatever comes in this offer allows you to move forward you can see there's a path that this man is following and the door is open and it looks like this is uh, where the opportunity comes in for you and allows you to move forward. So something brand new is coming in, an offer coming in for you that allows you to um, overcome all these difficulties that you were going through. There's also this new job opportunity that gives you that financial assist, uh, independence and also gives you abundance because with the Nine of Pentacles, it's having abundance as well and being able to sort out everything without the help of anybody else. And as you can see with this card, it's also spending a lot more time with the family or, you know, um, taking more time to yourself uh, on, on a personal basis, but also spending time at work. So you're going to be able to balance the two of them quite nicely um, to achieve success. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot. So the first card is the release, which says the end of a phase of situation, spiritual transformation, and a time to move on. So all these cards are talking with this eight of um, cups here. It's talking about moving on. And with this release card, which is the death card, it's the ending of an old cycle and the beginning of something brand new, new transformation coming in. The nine of air is expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. So you are still very stressed out about whatever has happened. Uh, you are still recovering from it. Uh, you need to take a little bit of a mental break from everything else. So apart from having some kind of physical rest, you need to get some mental clarity over it, some mental break from that stress that has come in. Now you've got this ace of swords over here, so you are going to be winning in that situation. You just get, need to get back that mental control over what's been going on. And you've got the knight of earth over here, which says a time to buckle down and get things done. Um, honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So the knight of earth is about working pretty hard and achieving and moving forward. Even though things might seem a bit slow, abundance is coming to you. You can see this card is very abundant, a lot of greenery coming in. Uh, and it's it's also a card that's talking about being practical, uh, having a plan, and uh, achieving. 
um, and this is a personal achievement card, so you are achieving. So there's some kind of personal achievement coming. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, which is also about personal achievement and independence. And it's also having worked with the plan. So make sure you're making a plan, having an, a clear idea about what you're doing, because you do have achievement coming in. You are going to be achieving, even with this... Um, um, chariot card moving away from any kind of drama any kind of difficult situation that you've been going through and achieving whatever you wanted to achieve so here you are moving away from difficulties the, there is a light at the end of the tunnel here um, so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye